Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel, today we will be making this scene. We will be doing modeling, UV mapping, shading, texturing, weight painting, and also will work on the particle system. I am going to split this video in two parts. Well let's go to Blender. Before we start modeling, I am going to show you the actual scene that was used to pull out this render. It took me hours to work on the details to make it look beautiful, and I know, if you keep up with me, you can make even more beautiful renders. Before we start modeling, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel Rogue Knight 3D, then please like and subscribe, so you are always updated by YouTube of all my newest videos. Let's start modeling. Delete the cube and the lamp. Bring a plane into the scene. Go to edit mode and scale it along its Y axis. Control R to add a loop cut, then type 11 to have at least 11 of them. Select the whole plane, right click, and subdivide it once. Select the two outer edge loops by alt left clicking on any vertex. E to extrude, then scale along its X axis. Press 1 on number pad, to go to the front view, bring the edge loops down a little. Extrude and scale again. Repeat the same process. Scale along X to widen it up a little more. Insert an edge loop cut. Select the whole plane and subdivide it once again. Right click and shade smooth. To make it simple for the new beginners, I am going to separate this geometry into two separate objects. Select the middle edge loop, and control number pad plus to increase the selection. Press P, separate by selection. Put a subdivision modifier on both of the objects, and then name them properly. Go to edit mode, press A to select the whole object, then press U to unwrap. Repeat the same process for the other object. Go to the shading tab. Bring in the road diffuse map in the node editor and connect it to the base color. Go to the UV editing tab. RZ90, to align the UVs to the image. 
because it wasn't aligned properly. Scale it, so it covers the road image. Scale it more along its x-axis, till you have a good look. This looks better now. By the way I got the road texture from polygon.com, and the dirt texture, I will be using next, is taken from cgbookcase.com. I have a lot of videos about the shading process, so I won't be discussing what I am doing. I will drop links in the description if you want to see those videos. It's the same process again, bring in the dirt textures in the node editor. Once you connect the base image then fix its UVs, you have to repeat the same process once more.
Now it is time to have a curved shape. Bring in a bezier curve in the scene. RZ90 Scale it big I am going to bring in my final render as my reference image for the curve. Alt R and Alt G to clear all transformations. RZ90 Go to the top view. Then press Ctrl Alt and Number Pad 0 to align camera to the view. RZ90 on the camera. Scale the background image. Change the camera's focal length to 18mm for a wide angle shot. Set the camera as you desire. Hide both the objects to have a better view of what we are doing. Select the Bezier curve, go to edit mode and try to align the curve with the starting and the end points of the road. Once you're done, subdivide the curve, and try to match the middle point with the curve of the road, so it don't look stretched from any end, and looks natural. Yeah this looks great, subdivide the curve a couple of times. Now unhide both the objects. Select the road, go to the modifiers tab and select curve. Now select bezier curve, from the curve object select. Repeat the same process for the dirt plane. Grab and move along Y, to make the objects move along the curve. Now scale the objects along Y axis. This looks great now. Make the objects invisible to see and compare. If you want to scale the objects a little more or not, Bring in another plane into the scene, scale it big, so it can cover the whole scene. I used another plane so I can have less subdivisions, and most of these areas will be hidden by trees so we do not need a lot of geometry. Bring it down a little so they both don't overlap.
Go to edit mode, right click subdivide, this time have 20. Go to the shading tab, and use the same dirt material we created before. But for this material change the scale to 5 in all axis. This is the end of the first video, in the next video, we will learn how to bring in other models in the scene, do the weight painting, create vertex groups and the use of Blender's particle system. Till then be safe, if you like the video then please like and subscribe my channel, and follow me on Instagram and on my Facebook page as well, so you are always updated of my new work, I will totally love to see your renders. You can send them in my Insta inbox or drop them in my page, I will post them on my new growing Facebook page as well. Well see you in part 2. Take care till then, happy blending.